Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson, and today I want to share with you a roughly $3,000-ish dollar computer build that I recently finished with my friend Noah. Yes, the Noah from the wedding BTS videos that I made and the wedding audio video that I recently finished. He's in a lot of my videos. Regardless, I will link to those up in the corner and down in the description if you want to check those out. Anyways, he recently decided that he wanted to build a video editing computer that is capable of editing 4K video in Adobe Premiere Pro, and he asked me to help. And I said, of course, I would love to help you out with this. This sounds incredible. Can I make a video about it? And they said, of course, you've already filmed me a ton of times. You might as well film this video too. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the exact parts that we purchased to put together this computer, and I'm going to be telling you why we purchased them. What I am not going to be showing you is how to put the computer together. Because, in case you're not aware, I have another video that I made recently all about how I put together an AMD Ryzen build for my brother. It's like an hour long, it shows me putting all the parts in, and the good news is that once you've seen one computer build video, you've basically seen all of them because there is such a great overlap in the parts and the way of putting them together that you don't really have to worry. Even with these new parts, you could still go back and reference that older video to be able to put the computer together properly. So if you want to see a cheaper computer build, because you're saying, man, $3,000 is pretty darn expensive. Do you have anything cheaper? Yes, I do. This other computer build I did was $600 to $1,000 roughly, depending on which parts you get for it. And that is still gonna handle 1080p and 4K editing quite well. But if you want future proofing, if you want to be able to edit even faster, then this build that we're gonna talk about now is for you. I will have the cheap Ryzen build linked up in the corner and down in the description of this video. The last thing I wanna say is that the prices for these parts are going to fluctuate. Noah purchased all these parts on Black Friday, so of course he got some really killer deals. So to compensate for the cheap cheaper prices that Black Friday offers. If the parts that he bought are too expensive and do not hit roughly the $3,000 price range that we're trying to hit with this build, I'm going to tell you other parts that are still good but maybe slightly cheaper to compensate for that. Also, I'll have links down in the description to all the parts that I'm talking about. So if you do not want to listen to me ramble about computer parts for a while, you can just go down there, click on the parts, and check them out yourself. All right, let's talk about parts. Let's start with the CPU, the brain of the computer. And this is an amazing time to be purchasing a CPU because there is so much competition and so much new stuff coming out. You've got the entire AMD Ryzen platform, which is incredible. You have new Intel CPUs for much cheaper and much higher core counts than you were able to get before. And because so many new CPUs are coming out, it is driving down the cost of older CPUs. So regardless of what you're looking for, you're gonna be able to find a great deal on a very powerful CPU. The CPU that Noah chose is the Intel 6850K. It is a six core, 12 thread CPU that currently retails for approximately three $345, but he botched on Black Friday, so he may have gotten a better deal on it. No, I have not done any benchmarks on this CPU personally, but thankfully there are other people who have. Namely, there's a company called Puget Systems, and they are incredible because they do video editing benchmarks with Adobe Premiere Pro across a variety of CPUs from Intel and AMD. So if you wanna know what CPU is gonna work best with Adobe Premiere, they're a fantastic resource. In their testing, they found that the 6850K is roughly equivalent to the Ryzen 7 1700 and 1800 processors, which are actually eight core 16 thread CPUs. So how can a six core 12 thread CPU be better than an eight core 16 thread? Well, it really comes down to Premiere and how it's optimized. Because in all the testing that I read, Premiere actually becomes less efficient at higher core counts. So a six core 12 thread CPU is really almost the sweet spot whenever it comes to price versus performance in Adobe Premiere. So it's really up to you if you wanna go with AMD Ryzen or Intel for your build. Currently, you may be able to save some money with Ryzen, but Intel is gonna have better performance. CPU cooler, let's talk about how to keep the CPU cool. No Noah went with a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler for $29, which is honestly the most popular CPU cooler out there right now, I think, if you wanna do air cooling. If you don't wanna mess with water cooling, it is a fantastic CPU cooler that is gonna keep your CPU cool, even if you wanna do some mild overclocking. Next up is the motherboard, and Noah went with the Asus X99A2, which currently retails for $229. The reason that I recommended that he go with this motherboard is because of the connectivity. I am a huge fan of having a lot of high speed connections on my motherboard so I can plug in external hard drives. In this case, the motherboard has four USB 3.0 ports and two USB 3.1 ports, as well as the option to expand it with Thunderbolt connectivity using a PCIe Express card. I think this motherboard is a fantastic choice for future proofing. Graphics card, let's talk about the fun part. Noah actually purchased a slightly used GT. GTX 1080. In your case though, the GTX 1080 is currently 
$580 roughly, and that's a little expensive and kind of overkill even for 4K video editing. I think you would be perfectly fine with a GTX 1070, which retails for approximately $450. I recommend EVGA because as a brand, I've had a great experience with them and their warranty and returns are second to none. But if you want to find an even cheaper option than 450, you may be able to. Storage, Noah actually purchased two SSDs for this build. The first is a 500 gigabyte Samsung 960 EVO SSD in the M.2 form factor. And I gotta say, this is one of the most incredible hard drives on the market today. It is so fast. I absolutely love it and highly recommend it for any computer build that you're doing. Put your operating system and apps on this SSD. The second SSD that Noah purchased was a Samsung 850 Evo SSD with one terabyte of storage space and it was in the regular 2.5 inch SSD size. This SSD currently retails for $289. And the reason that Noah wanted to purchase two SSDs is because the 500 gigabyte SSD was just for apps and the operating system, whereas this one terabyte SSD was to be used for other files that he may have downloaded from the internet, etc as well as being able to be used as a scratch disk. What is a scratch disk? A scratch disk is a hard drive used by Adobe Premiere Pro to store video previews and other video editing files while you are editing. And this is used to speed up the editing process. So by having a very fast SSD scratch disk, as well as having a fast SSD that has your operating system and apps on it, you are gonna have a very, very quick video editing experience. RAM, RAM has some of the coolest names. Noah purchased 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance 3200 megahertz DDR4 RAM, which currently retails for $402. You may be noticing something weird though, because I just said 32 gigs, but in the B-roll that I'm showing you right now, you're actually only seeing 16 gigs of RAM. What the heck, Matt, what's going on? Well, when Noah was making his purchase, he actually purchased two separate 16 gig sets of RAM and not one large 32 gig set of RAM. Both are 16 gigs, you add them together, you get 32 gigs. What's the big deal though? Isn't this possible? Well, technically yes, but from all of my research and building computers over the years, this is generally frowned upon because whenever a manufacturer of RAM puts together these sticks into a set, they have tested to make sure that all the sticks work well together with the same voltages. And so whenever you purchase two separate sets and combine them together, you may be getting two sets of RAM with slightly different voltages that can cause instability problems with your system. I would highly recommend purchasing a full complete set. In any case, I feel like 32 gigs of RAM at 3200 megahertz is really the sweet spot as far as RAM goes right now, so I would highly recommend purchasing that amount if you want to do 4K editing. Power supply. We need more power! Noah purchased the EVGA 850P2 power supply, which is total overkill, both in terms of the actual wattage that you're getting and with the price, because it's currently $154, which I'm assuming that he got it for cheaper on Black Friday, but that is still way too much money. You can still get a fantastic power supply for less than half the cost. I would recommend purchasing an EVGA 650B3 power supply for $70. That is still going to give you tons of power for everything. Next up, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. Noah purchased an Asus Wi-Fi and Bluetooth PCIe card because this motherboard does not support Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, so you need to purchase an adapter for it. In this case, the adapter costs $33 and it works very well. We need to talk about the computer case because this computer case is gorgeous. This is the Cooler Master Master Case Pro 5 mid-tower computer case. Yes, there's two masters back to back. That gets very confusing, just gotta be honest with you. This case is incredible because it's not too gamery. You do not have crazy RGB lighting everywhere. It is stealthy with good airflow, and I absolutely love it. For a 4K monitor, Noah purchased the Dell U2718Q, which, fancy name aside, it is a gorgeous monitor with super thin bezels. I absolutely love it. What's even cooler is that he got this during a lightning deal on Amazon on Black Friday for $409. The bummer for you is that it regularly costs $484. So to compensate, if you do not want to spend $484, I have a cheaper monitor that I recommend. Has slightly thicker bezels, still Dell, still factory calibrated for proper color, great for video editing and color grading. It is the Dell P2715Q and it currently retails for $445. Slightly cheaper. If you want to check that out, I will link to it down in the description of this video. Now this is a full computer build, so not just the box, but the monitor and accessories, and we're going to need an operating system. So I would recommend Microsoft Windows 10 Pro, and that currently retails for $140. Other accessories. You're going to need some speakers because this computer does not come with speakers built into the box for some reason. So as an entry level speaker set, I would recommend checking out the Logitech Z200. Basic computer speakers, they cost $23. You might as well, for an entry level, get that. But 
Considering you're already spending like nearly three grand on this computer, you should definitely spend some good money on speakers too. I talked about my favorite professional speakers and headphones in my how to edit your audio and make it sound incredible video, which I will link to up here in the corner and down in the description. But if you want to purchase better speakers and headphones without having to watch that video, I will just link to those speakers and headphones that I recommend down in the description of this video. Keyboard, you're also gonna need a keyboard. I recommend the Corsair K55 keyboard, which currently retails for $49. It's a great choice if you need a good keyboard. For a mouse, I love the Logitech MX Master 2S. This mouse is incredible. Best mouse I've ever used, I absolutely love it. It is $91 though. If you wanna save some money, you can purchase the earlier model, which is still just as good, the MX Master, refurbished on Amazon for $60. Not bad, that's about all the parts. Noah and I spent a few hours putting together the computer and I'm really happy with how it turned out. But I'm sure you're yelling at your screen right now saying, Matt, benchmarks, tell us about the benchmarks. Does this computer run well? How good is it at video editing? Well, I have good news and bad news. The bad news is that I did not actually do benchmarks on this because it's not my computer. But the good news is that I do have benchmarks for you. The company that I mentioned earlier, Puget Systems, does CPU benchmarking tests and they have tested a system very similar to this one. So by looking at those tests, we can get a good idea of how this system is going to handle video editing in comparison to other systems. From their tests, it appears that this build is gonna be roughly 8% faster than a Ryzen 7 1700X and roughly 5% faster than a Ryzen 7 1800X. It's also gonna be faster than the Intel 7700K. Where it's gonna to start to fall behind though is whenever you start spending more money on the Intel X series of processors as well as their new 8700K processor. For the price to performance ratio, I'm really happy with how this system turned out. But the CPU market is rapidly changing. Things are getting cheaper and more powerful every day. So I would highly recommend checking out Puget Systems website and reading their articles where they are doing new CPU benchmarking tests all the time. I will link to both the benchmark that I referenced in this video as well as their other articles and benchmarks down in the description of this video for you to check out. Add up all the parts for this video and you end up with a grand total of $2,938, which that's a lot of money, but I did not take into consideration the mail-in rebates. Yes, the all-powerful mail-in rebates. Unfortunately, there's not a lot. It's actually only $20. So I'm sorry, the grand total is now 2,918. By the time that I publish this video, the prices may have changed. They might've gone down, we can hope, right? So I would highly recommend checking the links down in the description of this video to check the current pricing for these parts. I hope this computer parts guide has been helpful to you. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave one below or get in touch with me through my website, whoismat.com. It's also a massive help to me if you would consider liking this video and subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I also have links down in the description of this video below where you can sign up for my email newsletter or sign up for consulting or you can check out my Instagram and my Facebook pages or my wedding film production company, Filmstrong Productions. All of that is linked down in the description. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.